Here's part two on what happened with my teeth whitening store that made me 80k in a month at 14. So as I said in the last video, we were hitting pretty decent numbers, so I went ahead and private labeled the product. And I decided to launch a new hero product that I could advertise alongside the teeth whitening pens, which was this UV teeth whitening kit. And the goal was to sell both of these products so that we could boost up our average order value. And basically, my plan at the time was to copy exactly what our biggest competitor, High Smile, was doing. So they were selling these UV teeth whitening kits, so we ordered about $25,000 worth of the UV teeth whitening kits and also other private label stock. And here's me testing out the UV teeth whitening kits from a couple years ago. But this ended up being a really bad mistake because we had so much cash just tied up in stock that we couldn't actually sell until two months when it was actually ready. And coincidentally, at the same time, our Stripe account was under review, so we weren't actually getting paid out for the sales that we were generating, which left us in a really bad position, because I couldn't actually physically pay for ads and get that money back. And also, at the same time, the effectiveness of our weird thumbnail Instagram Explore page strategy was also starting to die down. Because loads of other brands were doing exactly what we were doing, partly because I didn't make that YouTube series which told everyone the strategy, which wasn't the smartest thing to do. But to sum it up real quick, basically the store ended up flatlining because we couldn't pick up momentum when the stock did arrive. And also it was very hard to sell the teeth whitening kits via Facebook because the ads kept on getting disapproved. So basically we wasted a bunch of our profit on stock that we can't actually sell. There's a lot of other things I'm missing out in the story, but just to sum it up, one of my partners ended up scamming us for over $20,000, which was a really painful lesson. And then we go on offer to sell the brand for $150,000, the check actually hit the account and the very next day it bounced because apparently it was fraudulent and then the bank actually closed our business account. And then a couple weeks or months later we ended up selling the store to someone else for a much much lower price because the sales were basically zero at that point and that was it. So if you want to hear more e-com stories like that, make sure you drop a follow.